We are in the old Mina, Arkansas train depot. And they've got this nice little Dodge here, police car. There's the siren, red lights. Turn that red on the side left around and it becomes a spotlight. <clears throat> and Mina Police Department, Arkansas. A little dusty out here, but there's the inside. You can see the stick shift on the floor. It's got a long back seat, a lot of rear space, filling place. Somebody wrote greed on it. So kind of like a velvet seating material. Yeah, look at the seats inside of here. Concrete. Brick. And a lot of these train depots, they always had these nice features on them. There's a security camera. But you see the corbels up under the soffits of the roof and train station antiques these stores here are all abandoned I guess people might be living upstairs in that uh, apartment building on the corner but you look across and there's the old train depot that's uh Turn up the exposure here a bit. Okay. And there's the old truck camper ready to roll to the next exciting location. Studebaker? Oh, wait. That was a Studebaker dealer? How neat. Oh, look at that. And oh, there are cars. There are Studebakers inside. Okay, I have to stop and take a look in here. So that is a Ford, but also an Edsel. Look at this, they got aluminum heads here. What is this place? These are like Chevy heads. That looks like a uh, 351 Cleveland four barrel head. Right there, you can tell with the big exhaust ports on it. Brodex. Okay, this is something in here.
products. And so here's a 55 Chevy here. What a neat place. I wish it was open. Dang. see the back of this. Arkansas Sheriff Youth Ranches. Licensed in 04 is the tag on it. So, it's a Ford Galaxy. I mean, it almost looks like it's been lowered. 500. And here is a 57 Chevy right next to us. Huh. Sweet. Boy, look at that. There's a 66 Mustang and a 67 or 8 Mustang. And there's a little Chevy truck, a Cushman motorcycle, and a Simply motorcycle behind of that. And then that straight ahead is an old Honda. Don't know what, but yeah, 66 Mustang straight ahead, 67 or 8 on the left, and another Honda. What a cool shop! And then way over in the back there, that looks like a like a 40 Willys or something. Way back in the corner there. Then up here is the old uh, gas station kind of thing. And geez, look at this. This is so cool. Yeah, an old, uh, like, Plymouth or Dodge. God, what a neat shop. <laughs> oh. Hi. Can you tell me anything about the shop here? Oh, I don't know nothing about it. Don't? Okay. They got some nice stuff in there. There's a Plymouth uh, cruiser. Made that for like a year or two. But look at all that paraphernalia in there. Dang, I wish it was open. Uh, I don't know any much about it. Yeah. Uh, guy owns this business, uh, Brodix owns it. Oh, oh, oh. It's, um, Brotherton's. Okay. Yeah, it, so uh, so Brodix owns it. Yeah, yeah. So they're like a big manufacturer yeah. of racing. Yeah. Okay, and they're from Mina. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I'm from Seattle, so I'm just kind of like uh, we were driving around to look at old houses and stuff, and Are you of course. To get a place down here? No, no, no. We're just 
you know, just retired, and so we're traveling and trying to have some, you know, taking sights. And uh, but yeah, this, you know, for a car guy, this is a mega treat here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, that's what they do over here. They build blocks and yeah, yeah. Uh, heads. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I saw a um, aluminum uh, Cleveland four barrel heads oh, out yeah. in the showroom there, and that's a nice uh, one of my favorite engines. Yeah. And um, so yeah. So they is do they have a shop open or anything? Do you know or? I used to work over there. Okay. Yeah, they're over. They're open over there. Okay. I think, I think, you go down this next street. Yeah. Uh, this one, the next one. Sure. Go down the, the uh, one block, and then you'll see uh, part of their office and stuff over there. Okay. They're over here all the time. Yeah. Well, I would. I'm looking at them, kind of thinking like it should be open like a museum or something like that. Yeah. 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 I know. Okay, I'll just uh, you know, get out of your hair, but yeah, this is, you don't see this every day. No, no. And uh, we were cruising through um, Nebraska on the Lincoln Highway up there, and uh, we came through a little town there, and all of a sudden there's like an old dealership, and it's full of, uh, oh, God, like um, uh, 70s, uh, uh, all the 70s Firebirds are in this shop, and you know it's got the shaker hood scoops and this and that, and uh, very interesting. Yeah. So you know, just you go through these uh, towns, and you just you never know what you're gonna see. Yeah. So okay, well, take care. I'm Jeff. I'm Shane. Shane, nice to meet you, Shane. Thank you, man. Thanks for the Oh, you folks. can come back around here. Mm -hmm. Want to buy something? Let, let me know. Hey, you know, I'd. Uh, uh, you like Harleys? I got one, maybe I'll sell you. Oh, yeah, no, I, well, I, uh, if I was going to get something, it would be that uh, 66 Mustang in there. Oh, I know. It. Is I, that a fastback, you know? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's, it's a nice car. Yeah. Because that was my first car, was a red 66 GT fastback with the Hypo 289 and the top loader. It, Great, great car for a high school kid. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. Yeah. After that, I went to the Mercury Comet. Bigger engine, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Well, that is something. So this is owned by the uh, Brodix people. And I guess Brodix uh, racing components are made here. So dang, uh, I know that he says that they are over here frequently, but um, not today. So let's go look at the um, Studebaker portion. And uh, Studebaker should have some interesting stuff too. Okay. So my dad used to have a Studebaker. Okay. Now let's go take a gander at this. Yeah, so Studebaker is a shame. Studebaker was the oldest manufacturer. Uh, they started building ships of the desert. Um, as uh, wagons for the pioneers to carry all their goods through... Uh, the Midwest and Oregon Trail and all that. So, yeah, look at this. Beautiful old Studebaker truck. Nice, nice, nice. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Ah, oh, 
man, just look at this stuff. There's a Harley there. And so we get some project cars in here. There's the old uh, Ford. I'm not sure what year it is, but I believe that that is the Ford used in the movie Grease. Greased Lightning. And there, it's a sedan, four doors. There's like a Chevelle, Chevrolet, Malibu. I'm not sure which car that one is. But yeah, how nice is that? Okay, so nothing to see around the back. Let's take a walk around the front here. But yeah, gosh, if this was an old dealership, I mean, how cool is that? Huh. Yeah, and this here, this is like a, what do they call that, a champion or a president or something like that. My dad had a Studebaker commander which is a nice car, Studebaker wagon. I don't think I've ever seen this before, a Studebaker station wagon. And some of the Studebakers were designed by a famous architect, uh, Lowy, Andrew Lowy or something like that. I don't remember his full name. But look at that, these cars, they're just all, in immaculate shape. Just beautiful. So that's that uh, three headlighted looking Studebaker there. They're very futuristic. Okay, some of them had kind of like a two piece rear window and a two piece front window, so. I'm not sure what year that one is, but yeah, I mean, that place is spotlessly clean. You could eat off of the floor, and look at that. Ooh, they got an old Studebaker Avante, but right there, that is like, just like my dad's car, except for his was the uh, kind of pearl white and robin's egg blue. So if you look over here, that is an Avanti. And that was a seriously futuristic car for its time. And oddly enough, this little thing here, my mom had one of those, uh, what do they call it, a Nash Metropolitan or something like that. Wow, cool. I don't think we're going to be able to see anything else in here. No, oh, maybe, maybe. Nope, windows are covered. Darn. Well, there you go. So they have two great old buildings, and I'm assuming these are old dealership buildings. This one here being Ford, though there's no name on the roof. There was a sign bolted up there, it looks like. And then we have over here, the Studebaker building. Sweet. Okay, time to move on. we were looking at are owned by the uh, Brodix uh, family, uh, two brothers I think it was said. So there is the Brodix uh, race parts manufacturing where they make aluminum heads, manifolds, all kinds of different stuff. And uh, 
So yeah, there you go. There's the product sign if you look back in the corner there. Point back in the corner, point back in the corner up in the building. I am. No, you're not. I think I'm too. It says Brodix right there. You got it? So there you go. Brodix. In Mina, Arkansas. They make very good racing components. Beautiful stuff.